Hi everybody. Uh, I thought I would do a review on my channel of what I keep in my Jeep. It's kind of like my everyday carry stuff that I'm working on. Um, my goal with this Jeep is to outfit it so that I can go camping. Uh, and also I can survive if something happened on the roads because I drive a lot. So this is going to be a little maybe two-part review. I'm not quite sure how long it'll take me, but I'm going to go over from front to back what I keep in my Jeep. So this is basically how I've set it up. There's a few things still missing and a few things I'm going to add, but I'll go through those when I get to it. So here we go. All right, so in the driver's side, you can see that I've got the side pocket above the windshield, two visor pockets, and a bunch of things over there. So I'm going to go through this stuff right now. Um, first thing I always keep are my sunglasses, obviously, so I can see. Uh, I have a SOG knife right here. I also have a pair of uh, emergency shears, and they kind of this uh, holder actually goes in the dark, so that's really nice. And I've got a diving knife back here for scuba diving that just sits there. Um, right here is my windshield cover for the inside of the vehicle. I also have one underneath the seat that goes on the outside of the windshield. Then down here, there's a little mesh pouch and I have a lighter and a knife sharpener down there. I do have a camera hooked up to the front and that cord is going to the camera in the back. On the driver's side, I have an emergency hammer to break windows and cut seatbelt. I also have a visor cover up here, not much in here, but there's an Allen key. This works for my jerry can that's on the back of the Jeep. A pair of scissors and a Sharpie. On this side, a pen, a spork, another knife, another knife with a glass breaker, a little tiny garbage bag. This has a whistle on it and a Sharpie. Another glass breaker that's attached to the roll bar. I also added a pocket here. Normally I don't keep anything in it right now, but there's a couple last Kleenexes that came out of a box. So I shoved them there. Down here in this pocket, there's a umbrella, a flashlight, and also the kit to take the top off the Jeep. I also forgot to say that I have another flashlight that's just Velcroed up here on the driver's side. In the middle console, I'll just have like a bunch of stuff. Like there's Advil in here, some lip stuff, hand sanitizer, my mail key. In the big part, I did get this added tray. So there's headphones. Um, that little scraper, I actually have to put it in the back. It goes in my kitchen cook kit, so... I was wondering where that went to. I'm going to take that out. Gum, tissue, and this is another window breaker. Further down, I have an extra charging cord, a power bank, and it should be at 100. Oh, it's at 99. Extra window breakers that I'm going to give to my kiddos, gloves, another power cord. Velcro that I use to attach my duck to the dash. Um, this is just like a toiletries kit. So everything you might need. I'm not going to go through it because you know what you need for toiletries. Car cinnamon because I drink a lot of coffee and I put cinnamon in it. And then this is like a multi-tool screwdriver. And then this kit. So in this kit, I can just grab it and go in. I can take it into work if I forgot stuff. But it's just got a little emergency blanket. Another pair of scissors, nail clippers, a light, more lip balm. This is glasses cleaner. These are scissors as well. And this is more lip balm. And then those are just a bunch of wipes. Okay, in the back... First of all, don't come at me if there's a ton of redundancy. I'm still working on this whole system, so there's going to be duplicates and duplicates, but it makes me feel safe, so that's all I care about right now. 
this side pouch has another knife. Uh, these are tissues. This is one of those, um, I carry these a lot when I go hiking because it's just a universal kit, so it's really good. And also this is like a glow light. On the back of the seat, I have one of those organizers. I don't know if I've gone through it before on my channel. Uh, I may have, but I will step through it right now. First of all, under the seat, this is the cover for the outside of the window that I usually put on if I'm parking somewhere and sleeping in the Jeep. And this is a garbage, uh, a garbage can. I keep bags on the inside and then I just put one in when I need it wipes and hand sanitizer in that and it just goes around the headrest of the seat but I store it under there. I also have my yak tracks for walking on ice and a spare pair of snow pants in case I got stuck. This is a bag that sits really nicely right there so I'll open it up for you. So it's a Maxpedition. I think it's the fatty. Um, on the outside I have hand warmers. On the inside I have gloves more um, of those towels that you add water to. Just an extra keychain that has some paracord on it, a fire starter, a lighter, another power cord. This also is a pen, but it's also a window breaker. Kleenex. This little kid has candles and a lighter in it. And then just a bunch of toiletry items. So I have hand sanitizer, I have toothbrushes, water purification, a little bit of first aid in here, like a baby boo-boo kit, an ice pack, um, this for fire starting as well, and some mask and gloves. But I do have a designated first aid kit that I'll show you. Okay, it's tight quarters in here, but I'm gonna show you anyway. So here I have my Garmin InReach Mini. Um, I use this for hiking all the time. I just keep a hair clip here because it's easy. And I also have a spare uh, bungee cord that kind of clips in the back here. On this side in this little pouch is just a bunch of like hygiene products. So I always have <sighs> dental floss, deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrush, wipes, and feminine products. This one's my first aid kit. Uh, on top is a tourniquet and then this does just tear away I'm gonna tear it away because it does tear away so I'll do that right now and I'll take it to the back and show you okay so this is the first aid kit that I just tore off the back of the driver's seat I made one of these for everybody in my family everyone that has a vehicle so there's four of us right now that currently have vehicles so we all have one of these kits in our vehicles. This is alcohol spray, a pair of shears, uh, some antibiotic ointment, a glow stick. In the back here are some hand warmers, an ice pack, and also an emergency blanket, as well as different types of tape onto an old card. Another big ice pack, a little bit of Advil, some hydrogen peroxide Kleenex, some Dex4 in case your sugar's low, more antibiotic gel, some KT tape and gloves, and a little Hall's lollipop. And then in here I keep a little bit more hand sanitizer, some larger gauze pads, and then various sizes of band-aids. And in the top little zipper pouch is just a bunch of different types of medications, as well as burn gel, and some of those little towelettes that you add water to. So that's my first aid kit. Also on the outside of the first aid kit is a Sharpie to go with the tourniquet. I forgot to mention that. In the next little pouch, this is food and tea and stuff. So I have lots of drinks, little snacks, and lots of juice crystals to hydrate you and tea. This one over here is fire. Oh, you can see all the dust. <laughs> Sorry about that. So this is just a candle kept in the outside. There's a lighter on the outside. And then these zipper pockets are full of, uh, well, these are warmers and the back one's full of fire starter. And emergency blankets as well. So there's fire starter in the bottom and emergency blankets on top. Down on the side right here is uh, a multi-tool. 
And then the bottom pouch. This one can be taken off and worn as a fanny pack if needed. So there's a, one of those candle lanterns right here with a spare candle and there's one candle inside. Then in the front pouch, there are some small bags, a little match set, uh, sanitizer, fire starting and batteries. In the main part, there's big glow sticks. I also have gloves in case you have to work on your vehicle. Uh, more lighters. There's also a water pouch in there, more heaters. There's a sewing kit. And then there's also um, a little stove. So if I need to cook, I have an emergency stove. It's like an Esbit stove down there. And then on this side, there's just various things like scissors, a cloth, a bellows, um, a little set of vice grips that I'm going to take out and I'm going to put them in my tool kit. They're like super baby size. Uh, and another flashlight. Okay, really quickly on the other side, I have just in that side pocket is a headlamp. Okay, moving back. On either side of the back seat, I have these storage pouches. They attach to the roll bars. There's one right there and there's one right here. So underneath it, I always keep a hat and a pair of mittens. And then I have an extra really fluffy hat that just got thrown in here, so I haven't taken it out yet. Um, on the edge, there's this uh, fire starting kit. Inside the kit, you can see there's cotton swabs, a little piece of wood, and there's uh, those matches that are windproof and waterproof. So this is a kind of cool little handy kit, really super cheap on Amazon. It's got the striker pad here. In the bottom pocket, you'll see there's a cord here that is for my kettle. So this is my cooking side. This pouch holds everything that I need to cook. So I have a little electric kettle and I'll show you how I can use that later. Got a plate, a mug. This is a stove. And then down here is my kitchen set. And then, sorry, <laughs> in the back, is my GSI Outdoors pot set. So I just brought the kitchen set back here to show you. This is the Destination Kitchen 24. I bought it on Amazon. Um, when you open it up, it has everything you need for cooking. I have not put any spices in it yet. I haven't taken this vehicle fully camping yet. So I will once I do that. But all your utensils on the one side. Also more pouches to bring stuff in. A little cleaning section. Your utensils to eat. And a little cutting board. And I'm going to add this added scraper for pots. Because uh, I did purchase that separately. So all of this kitchen stuff fits right in that side pouch. So that's it all packed up in there and then I just zipper that up. Uh, also along the sides of the very back window, I have one Reflectix on the back window itself and then these two on this side belong to the passenger, rear passenger and the driver's side door and then the same goes on the other side you can just see the reflectix i just slide them in there it's quite easy and then just on this side at the back is the back window one that's kind of coiled up behind these so that's what it looks like when everything's packed back away i'm going to take you to just check out this bag on this side so this bag is what i refer to as my clothing bag actually have a little tiny baby straightener if I ever needed to do something with my crazy bangs that I decided was a good idea. A power cord, an extra necklace that I obviously took off after work and did not take out. And then again, it's just two, it's got like a little 
um, a little base that you can take the Velcro off and remove if you wanted one giant bag or two levels. So I just keep closing both of those levels. I don't put very much on the outside of these bags just because I want to try to keep it as dark as possible and I don't like to see all this stuff. Um, but I do have a spare elastic also hanging from the back roll bar. I have two lights. Uh, they're, so they're solar. Oh my gosh. They're USB powered so I can charge them. And then under the seat I don't keep anything because when I do put the camping setup in here the seat has to go down so uh, anything in the way will prevent that. So the back of the vehicle I added a table so that folds down and also you can attach Molly equipment to this or Molly attached uh, pouches to this. So this is a tire repair kit that I got and I'm gonna put a few more things on there. This table comes down and has two levels to it. So one to cook on and then also this one goes up and you just hook it and then you have two different levels. On the back of the Jeep, I've added this rack and to the side I've got a jerry can and my um, recovery boards just attached with ratchet straps for now. So for now I have this table set up, it's just two by fours um, built into a little platform and from here when I put the seat down I can add my bed platform over top and it seems to be working pretty good underneath I have a vitamin 1000 watt power station I'd like to get that jump start battery to make it added power uh, and these are my cords this actually has worked pretty good because the vitamin can be plugged in where it's sitting and then I can run like this, just this little cord here. I can run it all the way over to my DC outlet and charge while I'm driving. Um, I have this trailer block just in case I had to use the jack for the vehicle. Um, Uh, my vehicle has a lift on it so I'm hoping I have to try it out because it would be silly not to try it and then get stuck but um, the jack for my vehicle is stored down in here but because there's a lift I don't think it's gonna uh, fit. I do have a shovel to get myself out of some kind of situation and this is a tool bag and then back here, this is actually a heat pad. So a long one that goes all the way in my sleeping bag. And it can be powered by this power bank or my Jackery uh, to keep me warm winter camping. And this is all my recovery gear. It's a whole kit that you can get together. I can go over that in a separate video if needed. And then just some spare washer fluid. I thought it might be easier if I come this side and just put the seat down just to see what's underneath here. So again, this is the back of that recovery gear bag. Um, this is a blanket, so it's a downfill blanket. And this is a downfill jacket that actually folds up into like a little neck pillow. Uh, <clears throat> let's take that out for a minute. This is that heated uh, sleeping bag liner that I was telling you about. That is for my tires, take them off. This is a kinetic tow rope. I also have a stool. I have some soft shackles. I have a, an extension cord to plug the Jeep in and these are actually um, reflective triangles. Okay, so everything just kind of sits back in there. Um, yeah, that's for that. So this is my tool roll. I just open it because like I said, I want to put these little baby vice grips away uh, and these gloves, I'll add a pair to this tool pouch. But a tool roll is a tool roll. Like I have screwdrivers and wrenches there. 
um, sockets and a small screwdriver and just various like, like there's a knife in there, um, a bunch of pliers and various things, Allen keys, mechanics gloves, zip straps, yada, 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 fuses. I have bigger fuses up here, so I'll show you in a minute. So this is looking at the driver's side in the back. So that's the bag that I keep all my cooking stuff in. And then there's a fire extinguisher on the roll bar. And then the back bag that attaches to the roll bar as well is for more tools and equipment. So I'll show you that. First of all though, on the outside of this cooking bag, I do have like a little, because I have slept in this at work, I do have like a little balaclava that's fleecy covered and then this is a ground tarp and then these are like uh, emergency bivvies. I also have a safety vest and that's just an empty package I gotta get rid of. And then one more thing that I'm gonna move this is my uh, recovery shovel folding okay so this pouch I'm still trying to get used to it's a little bit finicky it doesn't open all the way it opens down to here and it goes all the way around to here so you can't peel this open I could if I took out the little shelf that is in there so you it's just velcroed up on one side so I'm gonna do that just to take things out Actually, if I unpeel it, everything will fall out. So there's duct tape in there. This is the power cable uh, for my winch on the front, but it's also, I just used a neck warmer to wrap it up in. So dual purpose, I guess. This is my NOCO battery jump starter, which is fully charged. And these are my <clears throat> road flares that are all they all have new batteries in them they've all been tested in the bottom underneath that shelf car fuses assorted sizes there's a ton of them I don't need this many in here so I have to downsize that this is a tire inflator so I'll show you that so this is what it looks like. I have fully charged it and tried it out and it works pretty good. Oh, this is cool. I'm keeping this in here because I'm hoping Badge can help me when he gets back. Put it on. So it's a new shifter knob. I think it's cool. It's a skull. It actually feels really good in your hand. So when you're shifting, stick shift um it feels really nice so i would like to put that on but i haven't figured out how to get it on yet so badge if you're watching when you come back i have a job uh emergency vest oh and that's it and i also have a little repair kit up here for um like uh air seats and stuff if you have like blow up things Okay, now we're on the other side. So this is my EDC bag, which I'll do an updated video on, but I have done one in the past. This is just a little bag that I take when I go to work. Um, it has like toiletries and stuff in it. So if I'm car camping, it's really quick to get to just with your normal everyday toiletry things. <clears throat> this is a solar panel, which I have in here to charge either the Jackery or the Vitamin. And that is a can of butane for my cook stove, which is not in here. Um, the one I showed you was just a little one, um, but I do have a butane stove that I plan on setting up on here. And I do have to put the gas in now that I'm talking about it for my little tiny stove that I did show you. So this bag is actually, I had um, like a get home backpack in this vehicle, which I've emptied out and put into this bag. This bag can be slung over your shoulder. Um, I might fold the backpack up and slide it behind here, but I found like the backpack was taking a ton of this back space. And um, I wanted to 
get rid of that and just have something that's very streamlined. So this is completely full of redundant items that are throughout this vehicle and that's simply because if I found myself in a situation where the vehicle was no longer capable of driving and I had to walk home, I would take this and take it with me. So I'm not gonna go through it, but that's just sort of the, oh my gosh, <laughs> that's all my cheese crystals. That's just sort of the premise of this bag. Um, so I will, I can go over that in another video if people are interested, um, but for now it would just be completely redundant of everything that I've just shown you. The one thing I will say that in this um, bag of sort of get home stuff, there is a Ziploc bag and in here is a full change of clothing including warm socks and underwear. So that is one extra thing that is not seen throughout the vehicle that I do have. In the winter, I usually keep my down jacket as well in here and always a pair of boots if I'm not wearing them, then they're in here. I think that's pretty much it. The vehicle does have a worn winch on it, um, front and rear worn bumpers, uh, shackles on the front, and I put a hitch shackle on the back. Yeah. So that's my vehicle. I did forget to mention that in the glove box I keep like a cloth mostly because sometimes when I'm sleeping in here in certain weather and breathing in here the windshield will get a little damp. So um, I do have this cloth that I keep here. I've got um, a tire pressure, a digital tire pressure monitor and then a spare battery bank. This one's quite a big one. Um, 40,000 milliamp hours. So I like this one because I can actually plug that sleeping bag liner into a USB port so I can use that battery bank to um, warm myself up. And then I just keep an extra air freshener for when this one dies. I always have a new one. So that, that all just goes back in there nice and neat. So that's what I keep in my vehicle. Uh, don't come at me if there's too much shit to crop in here. Um, I will be refining this for sure and taking th some things out, but I'm also going to be adding things like an awning and also uh, my goal is to add a rooftop tent. So maybe when I go out west, if I have all that done, then I might be taking this vehicle. Um, diesel prices are quite high right now and I have to be really thoughtful and mindful of... Uh, traveling so yeah that might be my uh, game plan for the trip that's if I get my vacation uh, approved at work so we'll see anyway uh, thanks so much for watching hopefully you found this uh, video kind of useful maybe it gave you some tips and ideas I don't know if you saw something in the video that you want me to further go through I probably will go through my EDC bag because I just redid that a little bit so I will be going through that at a later date in another video but this helps me stay prepared it makes me feel comfortable when I'm on the road in the crazy scary weather that we sometimes get and so I feel like I could survive in this vehicle for a little while anyway until somebody came to either help me or I helped myself get out of a sticky situation anyway I wish you all a happy day I hope you can get out and enjoy the weather wherever you are because this beautiful earth that we live on it needs to be explored so sending you all lots of love and hugs and I will see you in the next video thanks so much for watching take care everybody bye bye